because you really loved your children, would you allow them to be killed horribly in a war, whether it be your favorite war or not? So all this indicates, as you observe, that there is no love at all. Love isn't sentiment. Love isn't emotional nonsense. And above all, love isn't pleasure. So one must understand the question of pleasure. Because for us, love, sex, and pleasure are involved. When we talk about love, there is not only the love of God, whatever that may mean, and I don't think it has any meaning, even to the churchmen, because there, too, they are in conflict with their ambitions, with their desires, with their powers, with their possessions, with their gods, with their beliefs and rituals. So to us, love means the enjoyment of sex, pleasure. And also it involves in love, pain, torture. So we're going to find out what pleasure means. And please bear in mind that we are not denying pleasure to see those lovely mountains lit by the setting sun, to see those marvelous trees that have withstood the fire, the dust of many months, washed clean by the sun, by the rain. To see the stars, if you ever see the stars, is great pleasure. But we, that is not to us pleasure. What we are concerned is pleasure, sensuous pleasure, and the pleasure that we derive from something intellectual, emotional, and so on. So we have to consider this question. What is pleasure? And please bear in mind that this speaker is, deny is not denying pleasure. But we're trying to understand it. Go behind the word. Pleasure, like fear, is engendered by thought. You have the pleasure. You have an experience of yesterday as you stood on the in one of those valleys that are still, looking at all the marvel of the hills and the silence, there was great delight and pleasure at the moment. Then thought comes in and says, how nice it would be to repeat it. Thinking about that experience of yesterday, whether it be the looking at the lovely tree and the sky and the hills, or thinking about the sex that you enjoyed last night, is a pleasure. Thought, thinking about that which gave a delight. Yesterday, 
thinking about it, living with it in thought, in image, is the beginning of pleasure. And thinking about what might happen, the pleasure of being denied tomorrow, you might lose your job, there might be accident, ill health. Thinking about it, that is, the, the pain, the ill health, the accident, is fear. So thought creates both fear and pleasure. And to us, love is thought. Please follow this. Because love to us is pleasure. Pleasure is the outcome of thought, nourished by thought. Perhaps not at the moment, at the actual moment of seeing the sunset or the sexual act, but thinking about it. That is pleasure. So to us, love is engendered by thought, nourished by thought, sustained and prolonged as pleasure by thought. Which again, when you look very closely, is an obvious fact, not to be denied. And so, on us is love, thought. Can thought cultivate love? Or can it cultivate pleasure? It can cultivate pleasure, but it cannot possibly, under any circumstances, cultivate love any more than thought can cultivate humility. So love is not pleasure. Love is not desire. But you cannot deny desire or pleasure. When you look at the, at the world, at the beauty of a tree or the beauty of a face, there is great pleasure, enjoyment. At the moment, but thought interferes and gives it a space and time to flourish as memory and pleasure. So when one realizes this, understand it, which is part of meditation, the structure and the nature of pleasure in relation to love, then you will find that love is something entirely different. Then you will really love your children. Then you will really create a new world. Then what? do what you will when you know love. There is no wrong. It is only when you are pursuing pleasure as you are, then everything goes wrong. And there is also another problem, that is, death. We have considered what is living, that is, the actual, the everyday. We have involved ourselves in taking the journey deeply within ourselves to find out what is love. 